something else that kids are going to be expected to be comfortable with in this unit three with the math expressions is equations and also inequalities. An equation is just a mathematical sentence with an equal sign in it. I teach the kids uh, by thinking of a teeter-totter or a seesaw. We've all been on those. We all know how important it is to keep both sides balanced. If you have your big cousin on the other end, then you're always going to end up in the air. So if you have an equation like this, that's balanced. We have 10 plus 1 is 11, also 9 plus 2 is 11. If you have an equal side in the middle, then both sides have to be worth the same amount. Okay? You don't have to only use addition though. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. That is an equation. Just the same as 20 minus 10 is equal to 5 plus 5. We just read them left to right just like that. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. This symbol right here, when you're reading it, you say is equal to. Okay. Now, an inequality is a math sentence uh, without an equal sign. And we use these different symbols so far. These are the ones that we've learned. Okay. This one means is less than. When you're reading it left to right and you arrive at this symbol, that's what you say, is less than. This one's the opposite. It means is greater than. And the equal sign with the slash through it means it is not equal to. So some examples are 7 plus 3 is less than 7 plus 5. Again, I just read it left to right. 16 is greater than 14. 13 is not equal to 6 plus 6. 4 plus 3 is not equal to 10 minus 4. So sometimes kids are asked to fill in a number here that would make this number sentence true. So 14 is not equal to 10 plus something. A common mistake kids will make is they'll put 4 in there because they know that 10 plus 4 is 14. But 4 is really the only number that you can't put in here for this to be true. Okay? If I put in anything other than 4, then this is true. 14 is not equal to 10 plus 1. Same with this one. 4 plus 4 is greater than so here I have to put something that is 7 or less than 7. If I put 10 in here, then that's not going to be true. In order to keep this true, I have to put a number that's smaller than this side here. Over here I've got 8, so over here I have to have something that's 7 or less than 7. And for this one, I have to, if it's equal, then I have to make it equal. So I really only have one choice here. I have to put 5 so that I have 10 on this side and 10 on that side. Okay? So let's play a little true and false here. 14 is not equal to 7 plus 8. Kids get confused about true or false because they say, wait a minute, 7 plus 8, that doesn't equal 14. And I say, right, that's what it says here. 14 is not equal to 7 plus 8. So this thing right here is true. This one is not true. 14 equals 7 plus 8. No, that's not true. That would be false, right? How about this one? 10 minus 4 is greater than 7 minus 1. They're actually equal, aren't they? This is 6. That's 6. So this one is not true. That's false. You can have as many numbers as you want on one side of the inequality, too. 2 plus 3, that's 5, and that's 5, so that's 10. So this side here is 10, is less than 10. No, that's false. This should be an equal sign. If it were, then that would be true. And last one here, 10 minus 5 is equal to 2 plus 3. This side is 5, that side is 5. It's like a teeter-totter. They're balanced, so that is true.